Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan joining us now on CBSDenver.com and CBS4 News. Margaret, of course, big news this week, Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy announcing his retirement. Now, the Democrats want the president to put off nominating a replacement until after the midterms. Any chance that could happen? Nope. <laughs> the president says July 9th he's going to make his selection and make it public. Uh, the question is whether the confirmation process can happen as quickly as he would like it to. That's going to be up to uh, Congress to decide. And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is sort of greasing the wheels, saying he will dedicate the floor time. This is a top priority for him. He wants a vote and for it to happen before uh, the fall. Of course, uh, what you're talking about there is an argument being put up by Democrats that say, hey, you said in 2016 that there shouldn't be a, a vote on a Supreme Court justice when President Obama made his pick. We've got an election coming up in November. Why don't we wait this time, too? Uh, and, of course, Senate Majority Leader is saying, well, this time it's different. Um, not only are Republicans in control, but his point is congressional races are different than presidential ones. Mm -hmm. So uh, in terms of precedent, he's trying to swat away that argument and his promise that this will be a quick process. Also, we'll first there was, it on Sunday. Okay. First, there was Mr. Trump being chummy with Kim Jong-un. Soon he'll meet with Vladimir Putin, but we know that trade battle is alienating our strongest allies. So what point is the president trying to prove with all this? Well, the president will be meeting with Vladimir Putin, Russia's president, on July 16th in Helsinki, Finland. And uh, he is reaching out to this adversary who has really uh, shown no good faith when it comes to the past agreement he made with President Trump in Syria. Uh, he has not pulled back from the war in Ukraine, and he's continuing to attack our allies uh, in Europe through Russian uh, election meddling there. And of course, we know what happened in this country in terms of what U.S. intelligence has concluded. So there's a lot of concern that when the president meets with Putin uh, later in July that he will appear to be embracing an adversary at a time he is going to war with our friends and our allies and our uh, really allies in arms uh, at NATO, who the U.S. Uh, the president will be going to visit in the days ahead of that summit with Vladimir Putin. And the concern is you could see a repeat of what happened just a few weeks ago when the president went to Canada to meet with friends and got into a fight and then is, appeared to be embracing a, a dictator, Kim Jong-un, right. uh, when they met days later. Uh, and so we'll talk about that, that with John Bolton, the national security advisor to President Trump on Sunday. Yeah, it certainly sounds though like the focus is going to be on that Supreme Court vacancy. Who's going to be chatting with you about that come Sunday, Margaret? That is a top, top topic. Uh, Jan Crawford, our Supreme Court reporter, will run us through the list of candidates uh, that she has learned are in the running. We'll also put the question to Senators Blumenthal of Connecticut and Senator Toomey of Pennsylvania in terms of uh, what they expect. This is uh, an issue that many think will revive some of those things that people feel very emotional about culture war issues, whether it's uh, relitigating abortion, whether it's gay marriage, affirmative action. And so there is a lot to dig into uh, because these Supreme Court picks have impacts for generations to come. All right. Well, Margaret, it was a treat to get your insights on these big issues, and we certainly look forward to seeing Sunday's program. Take care.